right, today I want to do a little review on a Magic Crystals. It's a touch game that you can find at www.touchswipe.com. Uh, it's great for multi-touch under Windows 7. I also include a flaw or a glitch that's included, but it only works under when you're using a touch screen. I'm using a 20 inch uh, Packer Bell VCO 200T Touch Edition, which is multi touch capable by having two little infrared sensors up in here in the corners, and uh, it basically detects your multi touch. Uh, I'm gonna just go and continue, tap to go to the next levels, and as you can see, it's working fluent with my fingers you can also do multiple things you can go over here and continue over here now you can also play it with your mouse uh, I'm doing it with my cordless mouse here <clears throat> the object of the game is to get three or more of the same colors now however what I discovered is if you're using a touch they always have to be the same color uh, that's the object of the game but if you like tap three different ones by touch you will see the little blue arrows here and you just swipe it and they're gone once again three different colors you swipe it you can also make it to swipe around the edge now if you you see you swipe around the edge and they're gone now let's make it with different colors go around the edge and they're all four gone now this does not work <clears throat> by using the mouse I select you see it will not even give you with the mouse the blue arrows in between it will only do it with the touch you notice the little blue arrow see I even make four different colors it doesn't always take them all out but it works for most of the cases now I kinda like this game because it's very touch friendly <clears throat> I'm in level 25 as you can see down in the corner but I haven't broken level 25 yet so I will be working on that I tried it with using my fingers I tried to use it with now up here, if you got the crystal, you touch it, it will freeze your time over here. So the time does not run down any further. Let me go back with my camera a little bit. So I got more of the screen on view. Down here is the meter. You got to bring it all the way over here by bringing enough green jewels down here. Uh, and uh, once you got the bar full before the time runs out, you will advance to the next level. If you don't get it, like I will most likely not get it. Now this here is like a bomb. You select it and you go anywhere and it destroys it. You seen the green one come down? This one is bombing a row. So if I go into this row, it will destroy all the ones in this row. This one is to shovel. Now, let me try to get a time freeze again. As you can see, it's working perfectly on this monitor. Like I said, it's a Packard Bell. You can find a, a little review I did on it. It's also posted on the forums of touchswipe.com, which is a really great website and online forum to find some apps and games you can use for touch, multi-touch, and so on. You can also find some drivers to have like instead of two finger touch input you can have four or five fingers uh, now I'm not sure if that will work on all Windows 7 computers or not uh, I haven't tried it on mine yet so you see I lost because I did not fill the level and you just go and restart and it will restart that level see it works fine now let's try to flaw again a purple a yellow and a green you get the blue arrows between it and they go away <clears throat> let me show you one more time the time freeze you gotta fill up up here to uh, use those I call them special weapons 
and uh, let me just play a little bit here. So basically, it's a pretty neat game. I play it quite often. I like it. Now, you got to remember that uh, Microsoft started out with this touch to integrate it in Windows 7. So it's, it's fairly new. Uh, besides Apple, there's not a lot of good touch screens out there. But I have to say I'm happy with this one. So let me bump this row. So I got two blue ones and bump this area. <clears throat> so notice, uh, keep noticing the timer over here because now I got it full. You tap it and it freezes the time. So it will not go down for a set period of time set by the game. So you can advance a little bit. So and you can see once I'm done over here, I can already grab the next ones over here and go over here. So if you're pretty quick with your fingers, you should be able to handle levels like this. Now the first 24 levels is no problem. I'm just getting stuck on level 25, but eventually I will master it too. I only had this monitor for about three weeks now and I had some other things I had to accomplish first to uh, get a new job and stuff so uh, this monitor by the way uh, new it runs about 200 euros here in Germany if you buy it from places like Media Market or Conrad Electronics, I'm not sure if they're available in the States, but they're a Packard Bell VCO 200T. It's a 20 inch white screen with multi touch, and it's a great monitor. It also has uh, DVI in, it has VGA in. It does, however, not have HDMI, even though it does 1600 by 900 resolution. It uh, pretty much does HD resolution, and even playing videos on it is great. Uh, it has a little drawback with the glass in front of it. Um, if it's real bright outside, you will have some glare or reflection on it, but you eventually get used to it. Um, since in my apartment it's not that bright anyways, it doesn't really bother me that much, except on real sunny days. So that's how the game works. I show you once again. Okay, I was too slow. Let me restart it again so I can show you the flow. Now the object of the game usually is to get them in one row. They also be connected with the blue arrows. I let go of it, they disappear. But usually if you do it like this, you will not have the blue arrow because they have to be the same color. But if you single tap them, you will have the blue arrows. You swipe your finger and they disappear. So this has to be some kind of glitch in the game that the uh, developers really didn't want to have into it. And again, the game was not solely developed for uh, touch screens. And so they probably didn't encounter that flaw within this game, but I kind of discovered it by playing this game by accident. And as you can tell, I cannot stop playing this game. But that's the little end of my little review. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope I see you at www.touchswipe.com. Bye-bye.